Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chris. Hope everybody's doing all right this evening. I've got another great build review for you guys tonight. We're going to take a look at Stephen Wizard's The Simplified Build. This is version 6.0, and it is an awesome build. I think you guys are going to really like it. And it's very, very small as far as the size goes, so all devices should be able to work just fine with that. All right, so before we begin, I definitely want to give a quick shout out to all you guys subscribing. Thank you guys so much for all the love and the support. I really, truly appreciate it. Thanks for the likes, the shares, the comments. Thanks for interacting with me. That's very important to me because I want to know how things are going and I want some feedback. So definitely, definitely leave that for me. Uh, also, if this is your first time happening across the channel, definitely click on that link below and hit subscribe for me, guys. You guys will not be disappointed. I do a lot of great build reviews, very thorough build reviews. I also do streaming device reviews, and then we turn around and give those away in contest giveaways. In order to be able to actually win those, you have to be a subscriber. So once again, don't forget to click on the link below and hit subscribe. Love to have you as a part of the channel. The, cont the channel continues to grow and grow, and I'm excited about the future of the channel. So don't forget to do that. And one last thing, click on that bell, and that way you guys will be notified of any new videos that I come out with. I'm very excited about showing you guys this build. I really am. As you can see, it's a sharp build. Steven does an amazing job with all his builds. Uh, so like I said, I'm really excited showing you guys this. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the menu items. We've got Extended Info Mod, or EIM. We've got Movies, TV Shows, Kids, Live TV. We've got Music add-ons, settings, and then we're back to Extended Info Mod. Now, the great thing about the Extended Info Mod is if you click on it, you're going to have several different options here. And I always go with the first one, the All Movies, the Movie Database. You can do In Cinema Movies or Library in Progress Movies, any of those as well, but I always click the first one because what you're going to get is you're going to get the most popular uh, watched movies out right now. As you can see, you've got some of the top movies right now. Now you'll notice there are some with the little ribbon across the left hand corner there and the star. That means that those are already in the library. Now if you want to add anything to the library, all you have to do is long press the select button and that brings you to an option menu. From here you can play it, you can add the library, or you can actually watch the trailer. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to go into Add to Library, and then you'll see it says Added it to Library, Starting Library Scan Now. It'll do its thing, and then bam, it is in the library. And I'll show you guys where you can find that in the library. It's really cool. Now, if you quick select it, it's going to bring up the Extended Info Mod section, which is really cool. Uh, from here, you can see at the top, it gives you the ratings of the movie, the votes, uh, that you guys have voted on it, the runtime, uh, the release date, the budget, and revenue. It gives you a synopsis of the movie, and then you scroll down, and it gives you basically all of the add-ons that you can watch that through on this build. Scroll down one more time, click play, and it's going to bring up these items again for you to choose which one that you want. But you can go into one of these, and it directly takes you to the movie that way or at least to the sources. You can also add to library here. You have metallics, you have settings that you can get into. Now, the great thing about this extended info mod is it actually makes your viewing experience a lot more enjoyable. And so let's say you really, really, truly like it and you wanna find something that's very similar to it. Well, all you have to do is know that if you have the extended info mod, you're gonna get a section right here where it says recommended by the movie database. And it's going to give you movies that are very similar in nature to that movie. So right off the bat, it gives you some extra options as far as viewing. And it takes into account you know, your likes, your dislikes. You also can scroll down. You have related movie list. You can scroll down further. You have official videos. You have YouTube videos for all you YouTube fans. <laughs> And then you can scroll down further. You've got cast. You can click on any of these uh, actors that are in the movies. So for instance, let's say we really like Sophia Lillis in this movie. 
we can click her name and it's going to bring up a list of movies that she has been in or if she's been in YouTube videos it's going to give you artwork it's going to give you all the extras it's kind of like the extras of a blu-ray movie or DVD section which is really really cool so if you do like her you're going to notice these movies uh, that she is in and all you have to do is go back space and then you're back to where you were before now it takes it a step further not only does it include the actors and actresses but it gives you crew members as well so if there's a particular crew member that you like uh, for instance Stephen King was the novelist on this the creator you can actually click on Stephen King and it's going to bring up all the movies or TV shows that he's been involved with which is really awesome and then it's got the studio, so New Line Cinema, any movies that is under that production, it's going to show you those movies as well. And same for any other production companies that's involved with the filming of it. You can go a step further and it has the country releases and then it breaks it down into genres. So right off the bat, as you can see, this is a very popular and very neat thing to have. Now if we backspace twice, you can also scroll down and then go into movies and as you can see there's it we added it to the library and any movie that you add to the library is going to show up under this section which is really really cool all right you can also do that for tv shows as well and then the great thing about this is if you do add tv shows to your library you can go into this section which is next aired and it's going to show you on a Monday through Sunday basis all of the movies that you've selected that are still airing at this particular time. Now, if you've selected something that is not any longer on air, then it's not going to show up here. But, you know, anything that you like that you have in your library saved, it's going to show right here. And it's going to keep you informed of when it's on. And it's going to be you're going to be able to go into it from here. And then you can pull up the seasons, the episodes, and everything else, which is really cool. I love it. You can also view Metallics through here. You also have Her Place. If you go into Her Place, it's going to bring up some information that kind of caters to females. I don't mean that in a biased way or a male chauvinist way, but as you can see, you've got girl releases. You've got greatest characters, greatest actresses mini series makeup tutorials hair tutorials and it kind of caters to the female which is really cool you also have action adventure movies comedy romance movies crime thriller movies thriller movies excuse me sci-fi and horror family kids western and war options as well so very cool i love that section moving on we've got movies here you can click on movies and that's going to bring you to the add-on called neptune rising Neptune Rising, as always, is going to give you a main menu with a list of options there. You can go into anticipated movies. Now, unfortunately, these movies, there's not going to be a whole lot of movies that are going to be actually able to, to view. So, once again, you got Pitch Perfect 3 and anything else that may be under that section of the new Star Wars movie is there as well. Uh, these movies, you're probably not even going to be able to view, so really it doesn't kind of um, help to even have the anticipated section but if there's a box office movies or movie most or popular movies or trending movies you can go in there and you can view the movies that way you also have a plethora and yes I did use the word plethora you have a plethora of add-ons that you can view as well and so there's plenty of add-ons that you can pull movies from there all right next up is TV shows you can do the same thing here. You have a lot of options when it comes to TV shows. You can scroll down and you can actually view the most popular TV shows as of right now. And you can view every single season uh, that is involved with that series. So great options there. You can click on TV show. I'm not going to do that again, but it's going to take you to the same menu as before on the movies. The add-on is called Neptune Rising. Kids section, you have two options here. You have March Hare and Star Tech, or you can click on Kids, and I believe it pulls up the add on called Myriad. There you go, Myriad. And you have plenty of options for kids here. 
A lot of those are Disney movies, as you can see. In fact, I think all of them are. So it's basically the Disney collection there, which is awesome. And then you can view the other two add-ons for kids' movies as well. Live TV. You guys know how I feel about live TV. Sometimes it's a hit. Sometimes it's a miss. Uh, if you are going to view live TV, my recommendation is to actually find a... Uh, a streaming service that actually offers it. It's very cheap. You can, for instance, um, you can actually get Vader streams for uh, about $160, somewhere in there, uh, basically for the whole year. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm paying for one month of that through my Comcast account. So right off the bat, that would be an ultimate choice to do. And Vader streams is amazing. It has great picture quality. It's HD picture quality. Uh, just great stuff there. But nonetheless, you have a lot of live TV options there. You can go into sports. Uh, you have TV One, Fox Sports, Mike, Newsom, um, Rising Tide, Supremacy, Survivor, Project D, and all streams. You can even go into the guide right here as well. Or you can click on live TV, and you have plenty of channels that you can view from. 282 to be exact, which is very nice. All right, next up, you have music. You have two options here. You can select Music Box. And it gives you a menu, Digster, what song soundtrack, 8-track, that 8-tracks playlist, charts, search, my music favorites, user space, audio fingerprint, and so on and so forth. You can also scroll down, and these are some of the most popular artists out right now. So you can definitely view those artists and watch their videos or listen to their music. If you backspace and then click on music, you will also have the option of Django right here, guys. So some great stuff there. Moving on, we have add-ons. You can click on add-ons and you have my add-ons recently updated, install from repository, install from zip. So once again, if there's anything that you wanna add, if you want to add adult channels, this is where you would do it as far as the install from zip, install from repository goes. You can also scroll down and you have a list of all of your add-ons right here. So very nice, guys. There's just uh, some to view here. And keep in mind, the great thing about this build is it is small, so you can add to it without really cramming anything into this build and making it slower. Next up is settings. Here's your file manager. So once again, if you wanna add a source, this is where you would go to add the source. And then you go back to add-ons, to that add-on screen, and then that's where you install from zip, install from repository. You also have Steven's Wizard right here. You have a maintenance section. This is really important. I always recommend, and I haven't really talked about this a whole lot, I always recommend going into the build every time that you go in and clearing cache, deleting thumbnails, deleting packages. Do some of this stuff here. Uh, wipe add-ons, run auto maintenance. Any of this stuff is going to help your system run smoother and help the build run smoother. Okay, So just keep that in mind. And then you can update your library here as well. Now, if you go into settings, there's all kinds of great stuff here. Now, anybody that's wondering what type of skin this is, this is the Fuse new skin. Uh, you have to go into interface. If you go into interface, you can go down to skin and you can see if you click on it, there's the Fuse New Skin. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But you can also, uh, and I've already done this, you can also go into system and you can go to audio, right click, and go all the way down to play GUI signs, uh, sounds, right below that is GUI sounds. You can click on that. I have it set to none, but you can do all the clicks and bangs that you want by adding this one here, and it'll start clicking for you. But I don't like all that noise, so, and I don't like you guys hearing all that noise when I'm trying to click through showing you guys this stuff. But we also have under settings, you have expert. This is expert. You have input, internet access power saving, add-ons, logging, all kinds of good stuff that you can actually get into. You could even have a show event log if something should happen, error should occur, I would go into here. 
get the information, write it down, and then get in touch with Stephen Wizards. Uh, you know, basically, he will be able to look into it and find out what's going on. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell on this build. It is a great build. I love it. And uh, I've loved it in the past. I love it now. Once again, this is version 6.0. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do a fresh start and then go ahead and actually um, go ahead and load this. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down to settings. And then we're going to go down to apps. Then we're going to go into Cody. So once you find Cody, you're going to click on it, hit for stop, hit OK, and then we're going to clear the data and then clear cache. Okay, on the NVIDIA Shield it says computing, and when it's done it'll show 0K. If you have a, um, a um, Fire Stick or something along that lines, it may show something a little different. Uh, I remember my Fire Stick actually uh, just goes back to 0K as well. It doesn't say computing or anything like that. But just keep in mind that's how you actually do it. That's the easiest way to do a fresh install uh, on Kodi. As you can see, it says 0B, zero, zero not 0K. So we are ready to roll. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back out to the main menu. Then we're going to go into Kodi. And as you can see, we are at a fresh Kodi. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on that little gear. Go ahead and click Enter for me. And then we're going to go down to System Settings. Go ahead and click Enter. And then we're going to scroll all the way down to Add-ons. Click to the right. Then we're going to go down to Unknown Sources. Go ahead and click Enter. That's going to bring up the warning box. And from here, you just want to hit Yes. That will allow you to download anything to Kodi. From here, we want to go ahead and hit Backspace once, and then down to File Manager, go ahead and click Enter. Then we're going to go down to Add Source, go ahead and click Enter, and then Enter one more time. Now, you're going to type in the URL in just like I have it. So it's going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Stephen TV wizard dot xyz forward slash wizard Okay, I'll give you guys a second to enter that in there. Once again, it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Stephen TV wizard dot XYZ forward slash wizard. A little bit lengthy there, but it's worth it. So from here, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to scroll down. As you can see, it's already been named, so we don't really have to name it unless you want to name it something that you uh, would like to name it. I mean, you can change that by deleting it. Uh, from there, if you have a keyboard, or you can click Enter, and then you can go in and delete it that way. Uh, but once you've got the name in there, go ahead and scroll down and hit OK. And as you can see, we've got Wizard in there. All right, so from here, we're going to go ahead and hit Backspace twice. That's going to take us out to the main screen. And from here, we're going to go all the way down to Add-ons. Go ahead and click Enter. And we're going to go up to the little Install box. Go ahead and click Enter. And then we're going to go down to Install from Zip File. Go ahead and click Enter. And then we're going to scroll down to where we see Wizard. Go ahead and click Enter. And then down one space, click Enter. Now there's an option here that you can do that will save you a little bit of heartache. You can go into My Add-ons and then Backspace. And you'll see it says Currently Downloading Add-ons. So this means that when the Add-on box pops up in the upper right-hand corner, that will disappear, perfect timing, and then the wizard box will pop up. So if you needed to go get a drink, take a smoke break, whatever the case is, answer phone call, there you go, guys. You'll know that it has been installed. You don't have to wait for it, if you don't want to wait, that is. 
So from here, you have a couple options. You can go in if you have tracked, reel to bridge, any of these items here in the top sections. Uh, you can click on that if you want to keep any of those. I uh, always check the bottom three is the most important for me. Clear cash, clear packages, or clear old thumbnails on startup. The reason I do that is that way the system runs better when you actually click on the build from startup. So if you click continue, the next thing that's going to pop up is the build menu. You can hit ignore, but that's not going to get you anywhere. You can also do build menu. Go ahead and click enter. Now you'll notice that Steven has a lot of builds here. He actually has the Cody Leia builds. He has three of them. He has the cinema build, transparent build, and artsy uh, media build. So if you guys want to download Cody, uh, Cody 18, excuse me, you can check these builds out. There's not a lot of builds out there for Cody 18 just yet, although Steven's done a good job of updating a few there. But we're going to go down and choose the one that says simplified build version 6.0. And as you can see, all of these builds here are amazing builds. I would definitely check them out if you haven't already done so already. But we're going to go ahead and click on Simplified Build. And then we're going to scroll down and select Standard Install. Go ahead and click Enter. And then it says, would you like to download and install? We're going to hit Yes, Install. Keep in mind, if there's anything that you guys want to see, uh, if you have any questions, um, don't forget to interact with me, guys. I love interaction. I love the questions. I love the information that you guys uh, send out. Uh, if I suck, let me know that I suck. You know, I love feedback as well. I can take constructive, um, constructive criticism. Um, but, you know, just keep in touch with me. If you like this video, click on those thumbs up, guys. Let me know. Uh, like I said, I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. And once again, if this is your first time watching the video and you think it's a good video, click on the link below and hit subscribe. You guys will not be disappointed. And then go ahead a step further and click on that bell. And that way you guys will be notified of any new videos that I come out with. I've been trying to do a little bit more at a time. Sometimes it's high, hard to do because I have to wait uh, until the kids are bed to be able to do it. Uh, and as you can see, it's 11.38 tonight, so it's a little bit, a little bit uh longer in the hours I should already be in bed but I'm also trying this new audio out and I'm hoping that it is working just fine um, trying to make the channel better for you guys by doing the audio uh, trying to find the right mix of audio for you guys so you can hear me clearly uh, the volumes not down uh, I've had a lot of people tell me uh, when I first started out that I had low volume um, just the little things like that I definitely definitely am trying to fix for you guys uh, one last thing, and I, you know, and don't take this the wrong way. I'm not asking for anything by no means, but I do want to let you guys know where that, you know, that uh, or let you guys be aware that I do have my PayPal account listed in the description box as well. So if you feel compelled to help the channel grow, like I said, everything that I do money wise, I put in back to the build. Um, you know, that gives me the ability to get in touch with companies to be able to do the streaming device reviews. And that way I can give those out to you guys and pay for the shipping and handling. Um, and it gets a little costly at times, but if you guys want to help out, uh, by all means, uh, I gave you my link in the description box, but by all means, once again, don't think that I'm asking for it. You know, if you guys want to help, that's, that's fine and dandy. Uh, but if you don't, we'll continue going on and and continue growing the channel. I'm excited about the future and what the future holds. So thank you guys again for all the love and support. Um, from here, all you have to do is hit force close. And then you're going to go back into Cody. And that is it, guys. You let the build go. Let it uh, open up. And make sure that, you know, that it um, does all of its loading. Uh, give it a few minutes before you actually go and maneuver around the build. But if you have any problems, uh, if this doesn't work for anybody, let me know. It should work for all builds and all devices, or excuse me, all devices, not even builds, but uh, it's getting late and getting tired. <laughs> so again, thank you guys for watching and all the love and support. Again, thank you, and I will got, uh, see you guys on the next video. Thank you all.